Hello again and welcome to Inside Cowboy Basketball with head coach Alan Edwards driven by Nissan. Great to have you along. The Cowboys uh, just finished up a big week. One on the road, one at home. They've got the same going this coming week. But let's go back and uh, take a look and talk about those two games last week, Coach. Mm -hmm. First, it started with a Wednesday night game down at the Air Force Academy yep. in Colorado Springs. And then the Cowboys got that big win over CSU. Mm -hmm. The game at Air Force, always a difficult yep. place to play. And uh, Cowboys made a furious run at the end, but this was, uh, well, it was quite a basketball game. Yeah, it really was. And to be honest, it was good to have Jake Hendricks back on the floor because I thought he came out with tremendous energy and helped us, uh, especially the way he shot the basketball. But I thought our guys went in there and competed. Um, and again, I thought Air Force uh, played one of their better games as well. You know, the kid Lavelle Scotty had a career night on us. Um, but, you know, our guys did regroup, you know, at the end of the day. and found a way to still come to practice with the right attitude and uh, getting ready for our, our game against CSU. Yeah, and that's always a big game. The border war, it was border war number 230 in the series, but this was obviously a big game for the Cowboys. And you talk about a, a great performance coach, start to finish, the Cowboys went wire to wire to get this win. Well, I, I thought the way we opened the game was really, really good, and I commended uh, everybody in their efforts. Uh, even TJ starting the game off driving and getting the early basket, I thought really set the tone. Um, and then, you know, again, having Jake back on the floor helps us so much, or it at least helps JJ a lot because of his ability to shoot the basketball. And I thought JJ uh, did a magnificent job of just orchestrating the game. You know, not only scoring the basketball, did a great job rebounding the basketball, did a great job assisting the basketball, and still uh, found ways to still have that same type of energy on the defensive end of the floor. So, you know, I really commended our guys a complete team effort um, playing here at home against the issue. Yeah, Justin James did lead the way, 36 points, a career high 36. But really, Coach, it was that defense yeah. that was pretty consistent throughout the game. Phenomenal in the first half. Just 22 points scored by CSU in the first half. But uh, just great defense throughout. Well, you know, again, much respect uh, that I have for Coach Nico at CSU. And I think one of the things we tried to do coming into this game was just keeping their offense off balance. Uh, it's going from man to zone, man to zone, uh, just so they can never get a steady dose of one or the other. And I thought our guys did a great job of understanding that. Um, and we did a great job of taking certain guys out. And even Cavaccio in the middle, we, I thought we did a great job. So it was still strange to me that he still ended up with, I don't know, 17 rebounds and, you know, however many points. But I thought collectively our, our guys did a great job on that end of the floor. Yeah, big win over their arch rival Colorado State uh, this last Saturday afternoon. And uh, a nice crowd too, Coach. Yeah. Uh, yes. I'll tell you, great support. Over 5,000 fans here to watch the Cowboys. Yeah. And again, I always commend our fans, and I, and I always try to uh, at least let them know when they're in the building, the energy is no different than when we go on the road. I talk about the energy and the, and the support. So my thing is that's a great six man for us. Um, and these young men feed off of that, you know, whether we're up or whether we're down, they feed off the energy. And again, the student section, when the student section shows out, uh, the way they did, it helps everybody else in the building also. Boy, it really does. Again, a big Cowboy win over Colorado State. You stay with us. We'll come back with more on Inside Cowboy Basketball with head coach Alan Edwards, driven by Nissan. Back after this. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. If keeping your work site on time, on budget, and onto the next job is keeping you up at night, you need to wake up to Komatsu. Our machines are designed for production, uptime, and savings. We are more than just iron. We are giving you a technology to make more material and less passes. Start sooner, finish faster, and burn less fuel. We are solving problems before you had them. So stop doing what you've always done. The only thing that's going to keep you up at night is wondering why you didn't do it sooner. Discover the job site of your future. Komatsu. Earn your University of Wyoming degree at a distance. UW offers undergraduate and graduate degrees through distance technology. 
Learn more at uwyo.edu forward slash distance. Well, he is such a welcome addition to this Cowboy basketball coaching staff, a former head coach and now working with the Cowboys as an assistant. Sean Vandiver means so much to this Cowboy program. We had a chance to mic him up and go through a practice with the Cowboy assistant coach. All right, Polk fans, this is Coach V, Coach Vanderbilt from men's basketball. I'm mic'd up today. Let's go get it. Let's go, Polk's one Wyoming. Let's go rock it out. Get loose, rock it out. Rock it out, man. I always got juice. Who, who's got the juice? I always got it. Can I have a hug, man? Me. I had coffee this morning. I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. Who, who's the one? Who's the one when he introduced himself to the Black 14? Uh, Austin Mueller. Uh, uh, I think I'm a sophomore. Hey, be careful now. He, he, he still ain't ready this morning. He still got that shaky morning voice. You. Let's have a great one. Let's go. Finish with a rebound. Let's go, Trace. Let's go, Trace. Step up and attack. Let's go. Walk, 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 walk. Stay down, stay down. Rebound, rebound, Bradley. Rebound it. Rebound, rebound. Cut you, go get it. Come on, footwork, TJ. Footwork. Good dribble at country. Better, better, better. Hands, hands, hands. Stay on the ball till you get bumped. Stay on the ball till you get bumped. Right here. All right. Good. Pocket pressure. Hands, hands. He just has to yell at AJ. Yeah. Here, right? Yeah, now. yeah. When Brad slides that high up in the slot. Right. But if Brad's just on the wing, that's you. That's you. That's you. Pocket pressure is the key. Pocket pressure is the key. You, you, remember, you remember how the first time when yeah, they bumped me, you, me told you to say, say middle. That, that other time, you just took it on your own. Better pocket pressure. I, Iverson, high low, Iverson, high low. Brad, sprint from the corner. Sprint. Lower, DP, lower. Treat the floor. Rebound! Get the ball to the other side. So you just gotta be physical. You gotta be physical with him. Alright? Parker pressure! Get through, Hayes! Get through! Cross! such a good coach and such a likable guy. Uh, coach V really relates to the players, and I think the players relate to him. They have a great relationship. Well, you know, Coach V, again, our relationship goes back uh, probably 14, 15 years. Uh, one of the first people I met and talked to about coming to Wyoming when I came as an assistant with Coach Shy, and we've always just stayed in contact. So now having an opportunity to get him here and just his personality. Um, and like you said, our young men, you know, feed off of being around him because he's about the right things and he wants to help these guys to re uh, reach their full potential. Yeah. Big week for the Cowboys coming up here, Coach. Uh, Cowboys will play the top two teams in the conference, as a matter of fact, at Utah State. They're second in the league yep. right now. And then on Saturday evening, right there on that floor here in the Arena Auditorium, the sixth-ranked team in the country, Nevada. Those are a couple of tough hombres uh, coming up for the Cowboys. Well, again, I mean, that's, 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 that's why we play the game of basketball. Uh, we look forward to the challenge. Uh, thought here against Utah State, uh, we actually played really well, and then we just hit a wall, uh, both offensively and defensively, struggled scoring the basketball. Um, but at the same time, I think we're, we've gotten better since, and, and adding Jake back has helped. Uh, so we look forward to going into Utah State and playing them. And then, you know, Nevada's been Nevada. You know, I've had, had a chance to just watch them and cross cross references while getting prepared but I just love what coach Musselman is doing and their ability 
to switch one through five and all those guys being able to dribble, pass, and shoot, and at the same time, play together because they're not playing selfish basketballs. But that'll be a great challenge for us, especially here um, uh, in the double A. And this is one of those games where we really need to get this place rocking and packing uh, because of uh, Nevada's coming in here. You bet. A couple of big games coming up for the Cowboys this week. And come back next time and we'll talk all about them right here on Inside Cowboy Basketball with head coach Alan Edwards, all driven by Nissan. We'll see you next time. For the head coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody.